All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Back in France again for another England game. Today we're in Lille for England versus Wales, the big one. We need to win, don't we, Sammy boy? Oh, we need to win. To be fair, all that talk, it's over if we win today. It's all happy sailing. If we win today, we've topped the group and it all goes into that third game of Slovakia, which anything could happen. So, you know, lots to look forward to. We're here with Carlsberg again. Big thanks to them for taking us out. And uh, it's definitely a different vibe to the game in Marseille a few days ago. We're in the north of France now as opposed to the south of France. It's it's raining pretty hard. I've got a coat on as opposed to the weather in Marseille, which is beautiful, nice and sunny. So hopefully we have a good game. We have a good day. It's actually an earlier kickoff. Then we can watch the other games after that. So it's a very different vibe. Let's go. <laughs> got your way for Euro 2016 vending machine. Sells stickers. Sells those little inflatable things. 20 stickers per pack. Is that a well. mega pack? Decent, man. That's an ultimate mega promo pack. pack. Alright, so one of them. Oh. oh, wow, check it. Come on. Yes, stickers. Me and. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's not a nice day here in Lille, but it'll be a lovely day if we get three points against the Welsh. We're on a coach right now, heading to Lens, because that's where the game is. Not actually in Lille, we're staying in Lille. We've got the Euro start to Lille, but the game's in Lens, L E N S. Seb, fancy some free football oysters? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, no. Right, this seems like a good opportunity to get these open. We're at this little pre match party here in uh, Lens, and we're going to open some stickers like all cool people do. Seb's, uh, I think you've blown that up a bit early, I'm mate. Basically pre bang Yeah, you've got a couple of hours for the game. So. Cheers for that. Uh, do you want to open a pack? Yes, please. Right, predict a country you're definitely going to get someone from. Uh, Hungary. Oh, if you could get an Albanian, that would be ideal. Or a Portuguese player. I know I need them. I can't promise anything. Come on, Portuguese player. I've got you, Luke Shaw. I've got him. It's a swap seat, I know that. Got Sergio. Got him. Got Zlatan. Oh, I need Zlatan. Big. Massive. Bavardson. Might need him. Look how smug he looks. Yeah, he was injured out the whole tournament. I'm pretty sure I don't need him. Not smug anymore. I'm pretty sure those two I need. Sponsored by KSI, the icing kit. Oh, yeah. Some ham. Just in time. Lovely. Thank you. Decent. Hello. England's captain. Oh, Wayne, the, will he score today? I think that's a sign, guys. That's a sign. Rooney is going to score a goal against Wales. Agree? Or are these guys going to stop him? Oh, is Ledley going to start? That's the question, because he's had some injury issues. We'll see. End of the day, England, got, they've got to win, really, England. I mean, four to seven on, I think they are, in the, in the bookmakers. Everybody's expecting it, but I think it's a bit tough game today. A few of you guys will be on a draw, I should imagine. Uh, but I'm going to go for England 2-1. Uh, to nick it, to nick it. But I'm hoping Wales go through as well, because they're a great team spirit. We want to see as many home nations as we can to get through to the, the next stages. Let's go, Sebby boy. Game time, mate. Game time. There's the Welshies. <laughs> Team is out. It is unchanged from the Russia game. Same 11. Yes, West Ham kit. Love that. Right, guys, the England kit is on. Let's do this. Come on, boys. What are they doing up there? Snipers on the roof. Massive game, come on. Take the guys out of the UK, but you can't take UK out of the guys. Pissing in the trees before kickoff. 
Classy. Look at them. There you go. Thank you. Good match. Thanks. Here we go. 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 So here we go. Oh hello. Oh hello. Bang. This is it. Look at this. This is my view. We're right on the halfway line. There's Marcus Rashford getting warmed up. Come on, boys. Check out the stadium. I'll tell you what, so much for the weather not being decent. It's absolutely boiling here. Lovely weather, better than, uh, better than the Russia game, I'd say.
Right guys, just made it back to our hotel room now. We've got the football on. Northern Ireland just picked up three points, which is massive for them. Well done to the Northern Irish. Germany, Poland is next. Let's have a look at the lineup. Goethe Draxler, pretty similar team. Oh, Hummels is in instead of Mustafi though, mm. who got a goal. A bit harsh on Mustafi, but Hummels is back. Anyway, they're playing Poland. I think that's going to be a good game. Hopefully we'll enjoy that. Me and Seb are going to be sleeping in this lovely little uh, double room tonight. Deluxe. Twin room, mate. Twin room. Twin, that's what I meant. I meant twin. Um, let's quickly reflect on the game. Very happy with it. Very, very good. I didn't feel good about the last game when I came back to the hotel room. Then I was pretty gutted, as you probably could see in the last vlog. But now I feel positive. Four points from two. Probably would have taken that at the start of the tournament had I been given the choice. Roy Hudson, fair play to you, Roy. You made some you know, aggressive, assertive substitutions. And they worked out. Both his subs scored, Vardy and Sturridge, so well done. I still like to see it mixed up a little bit for next game. Let's have Vardy or Sturridge or both of them start. I saw Rashford come on, that was nice. Let's give Deli Alley a break, maybe. I think he needs one. Um, Kyle Walker was solid again. Best player of the tournament for England so far, I'd say Kyle Walker. What do you say, Seb? I would definitely agree with Kyle Walker. I think he's man of the match officially today, but I would say in both games. What, what do you take from this game as your main learnings? Uh, I take that Jamie Vardy needs to play. He's having a party out here. He needs to play. Um, Harry Kane and Deli Alli have sort of led the line for Spurs for a long hard season and it might just be a bit mentally fatiguing. They're good players but they're not at their best so we've got other players we need to play them. I think Wilshere probably is a bit annoyed to not get on today. Um, obviously Sturridge and Vardy have taken their chance well. They have to start next game as far as I'm concerned. What do you expect to happen in the next game against Slovakia? There's no big scorelines in this tournament. I think we'll win 1-0. And then Slovakia. what do you think, based on what you've seen with me these two games, mm. what do you think would be a good achievement for us in this tournament? I would probably say we can really have to get to the quarterfinals as a minimum. Get to the first knockout, win our game, get to the quarters, and then we're on our own then. We're on our own. Fair play to you. Right, guys, I'm absolutely knackered. We got a very early uh, Eurostar here this morning. I was up at about four o'clock, half four, so we're going to watch the Germany game. I've got to edit this vlog so you guys can see it. And then maybe I'll think about getting some sleep. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like to it. Big thanks to Carlsberg for putting this whole thing together. There's two games have taken us to. Now, we are going to be going to the Slovakia game as well. So we're going to see all the England group games. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing. Bye-bye.